Hello everyone and welcome. I am Ellie and we are playing Towns. So in this third episode, uh, if you watch closely, you can see a bit of a difference here. I destroyed the mills we were using to transform the wheat into flour. So as we saw in the last episode, uh, we had a little bit of problem because of the flour overproduction. Uh, the problem is you can have auto production on wheat so you can set a maximum number of wheat to be harvested and once this number is um, is attained uh, your system will stop harvesting wheat. Uh, you can do the, the same thing for uh, bread so here we have uh, a 20 bread auto production limit so once you get 20 bread your citizen will stop making bread the problem is that there is no such limit right now in the game for flour which means um, once you have attained your bread limit your citizen will continue making flour indefinitely uh, and that has two consequences first you will have little bags of flour like that uh, all over your map even if you create barrels to stock them uh, since it won't stop the production uh, you will still have flowers all over the map which is uh, a problem when you want to build stuff around but the second and biggest problem is about uh, the priority list as I said uh, at the beginning of the of this, uh, of this series um, I told you that if you gave too many orders um, you will get a problem because your attorneys will only do the top priority orders and won't get to the low priority one and uh, since um, the food production loop is actually very high yes, baking and cooking and gathering and harvesting are the two top priority jobs so since there is no limit on flour uh, you will always have uh, flour production as a, one of the top priority jobs uh, and this might uh, pose a problem as far as uh, getting to lower priority jobs so right now in the main game the only way to uh, to check this is to put uh, wheat production on manual so not use auto production and uh, always uh, manually uh, ask your citizen to harvest wheat uh, the problem with that of course is if you are busy elsewhere or you just forget to do it uh, then your bread um, stocks will get low and your citizen can go hungry and they can even die from uh, hunger if you if they have nothing to eat for several days in a row I believe so it's not very practical uh, but thankfully this game um, uh, allows people to create mods for it so right now I have installed the mod manager for towns and I have installed a, more, a mod that is about um, the flower production uh, what it does it, it replaces the standard mill uh, by a baker's mill I believe let's check um, so yes the standard mill is uh, gone and I think now um, Okay, I need to find it. Baker's Mill. Here it is. And you also now should get. Is it in gathering? Nope. Animals. Nope. Baking, probably. Yes, now you have. Uh, auto production for uh, flour and so now you can limit uh, the production of all stages of the bread uh, 
baking line. So, for example, I'm probably going to what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put it to five because we already have five flower. Uh, what I'm going to do is create. a container um, I think it may be raw food so I'm going to put it uh, in the bakery so let's unpause the game accelerate a bit uh, time all right so the container is here and let's enable flower so now I am going to allow 10 flower to be made at a time uh, that way that will fill the barrel and I'm still going to Gather. Actually, now since I'm going to do 10 wheat also and use a second barrel to stock wheat, and I am going to build a flour mill, a baker's mill. So we need three stone. So I'm going to create uh, a row of them. Oops. So let's manage this one and allow wheat. Okay, and we have a baker's mill up and running. We might get a bit low on stone next. And so now we have a, a food chain, a bread producing uh, chain uh, that won't, um, won't leave flour all over the place and won't uh, screw up the production cube. Alright, so the next sort of business. So I will put um, a link in the description uh, to the topic about the mod manager and one uh, to the topic about the, the flower uh, production mod. So our food situation being uh, taken care of. Let's make sure. So let's. Cancel these orders and uh, cancel those one too. Okay, so we have a lot of idle people and they're not getting to it. Uh, oh, maybe I need to... Do I need to give a dig order? No, apparently not.
TV here. Okay, so I needed to... Okay, that's a bit strange. So now I'm on this stuck. Let's try and build a... Um, uh, place a ladder. So... It was in furniture, no. So let's have them make the dirt here and let's um, Yes, it's mud. So let's build the... Uh, no, let's build a mud wall here. Okay, so let's have the mine a little bit more. out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's have somebody build a ladder here. Uh, okay, now everybody is able to get out. Unfortunately, it's not uh, very well... Um, Uh, placed because uh, yeah, I wanted to build a wall around all of this, and this is in the way. So let's let's mine here. build uh, build a ladder here okay and now uh, dig here and here It's actually here that I needed to... And build the ladder here.
And let's destroy those two ladders. Okay, now we should have a... He still seems to be... No, he should be okay. and see if you can get uh, add patrol point to him okay so he could get out he was just uh, uh, remove patrol point yep and convert to civilian I don't need the soldier right now So, how do I fill this hole? Um, let's see... I don't want a wall like that, I want... Uh, Just uh, put a wall here. All right, so now. should be good. Let's try actually to put another layer of wool here. Okay, and apparently there's something wrong here, but um, they still seem to be okay. Alright, so now we need to dig to try and get um, uh, some some stone. We need uh, we need to do get some stone, but right now. All we get is dirt. So I'm going to try not and dig too close to the water. And why are they just stopping? So here we have a row of... Okay, uh, there's a dungeon right underneath. And they cannot uh, dig uh, because there is a... 
there is a there is no no floor uh, here so I'm going to cancel the other and I'm going to have them uh, wait actually dig uh, a a ladder here should give them access here so let's mine here uh, so one of the things to know is that um, uh, people and monster can get through diagonals so if I were to mine this square uh, that would open up the, this little area to the dungeon and so this is our first view of the dungeon and the monsters uh, that live in it. So, uh, what are we going to do next? Um, well, I believe we're just going to uh, attack the dungeon. All of our citizens have a bow, so they should be able to, to take care of the first level uh, monsters. So we've killed a few spiders and uh, some slimes. Okay, bruised, still healthy, healthy. All right, so. And now the next thing we're going to do uh, will be to build a tavern and some tavern rooms in order to uh, try and attract uh, some heroes to our town. So the main purpose of heroes is that they are going to go explore the dungeon. As you can see all this grey is just because we haven't uh, explored uh, yet. And so uh, each hero will spend uh, part of its time exploring uh, areas that haven't been explored yet. And obviously killing monsters. So, let's see, Bruce. Okay, so we are fine. It's an unfortunate um, there's mud everywhere. Alright, so we need a tavern, so let's create one. Uh, personal room, kitchen, hospital. Okay, tavern. So we'll build it uh, next to our uh, dining room. So I'll leave one tile for the walls. One tile for a road, again walls, and let's make a dining room here. Uh, so let's chop that down. And we are also, we also need to create uh, rooms for our heroes to get uh, here
Alright, so right now we have three rooms and a tavern. So heroes come in different classes. Uh, each class have their own uh, type of weapons and their own behavior. Uh, some will spend most of their time exploring uh, and just a little bit of time idling in town. Uh, others will spend more time in town than exploring. Uh, some uh, there, are, there is a thief class uh, that can um, actually steal some stuff from your stocks. And we have already attracted three heroes, so we have, uh, I think those are two barbarians and Duke Beaumont, which is, I don't know exactly, uh, some kind of knight, it seems. Uh, he has an iron short sword. Right, and so they will. Uh, so here we see the barbarian getting into the dungeon, and they will explore uh, the dungeon. So I am going to uh, now. The first order of business is to increase the number of rooms, uh, of bedrooms that we have, to uh, allow more citizens to come. And I will try to... Um, create my bedrooms uh, in the underground. We don't have that much uh, space uh, overground to build a lot of buildings, so... We still have uh, quite a bit of food, so there's no problem uh, that way. And we have our guys uh, mining. And our heroes fighting uh, the good fight. So here you can see uh, each uh, hero, uh, just as you, your citizen, they have a HP value, attack value, defense value and a damage value and they level up so we have already a level 3 hero and a couple of level 2 heroes and, uh, yeah so our citizen also have uh, hit points, attack, defense and damage uh, they don't have levels uh, but you can see here their task what they are actually doing their happiness level uh, turns to eat, turns to sleep. I'm not sure uh, how this work. Alright, so yes, I have to make sure I don't come too close to the water. So here we have some spider rights. So as you saw, the slimes, when you kill them, they uh, they can drop some gel, which you can use to build a few things. Oh, and here we have uh, our first death, which I believe when one of our heroes, yes, one of our uh, barbarian heroes died, and was replaced as uh, immediately by another barbarian. And so when you have a corpse laying around, it leaves remains and stink cloud. So as I was saying, the mobs drop loot, so uh, gel from slimes. Uh, the spider can drop spiderite, which, which is a material that you can use to build uh, uh, better types of armor and weapons. But they can also uh, drop uh, items. And so here the items are in green because they are better than... Uh, they are basically magical items. Uh, which means they are better than basic wooden boots. 
So right now I'm going to destroy this. Uh, later on I'll probably create um, a cemetery for our dead. Right, so let's clean... Let's clean this. Our uh, barrels are almost full with uh, stone. Let's build a few more. And uh, here will be. Um, well, basically my chambers where I will build uh, all the bedrooms for my uh, for my guys. Oh, and we have a yellow hat of the dragon. So Sedani Herbard. Let's... Uh, that's her. Uh, let's... Tell her to equip, to equip uh, the yellow hat. So right now she's sleeping, and she's going to eat, and then she'll um, she'll come and uh, uh, get the yellow hat. So we are almost done clearing this space out. And yes, she's wearing the hat. And as you can see, as I've given quite a lot of tasks to, ta tasks to do um, here by uh, excavating this whole area, uh, the holding tasks are being left uh, over, so you have a lot of flour around, laying around, instead of going to the roof with barrel because the the hauling is a low priority uh, uh, job. All right, uh, and we are coming to the end of uh, this episode. So in the next one, we will start uh, creating our chambers and bedrooms for our citizen and hopefully uh, we will get some more citizens um, added to our town so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like comment uh, favorite and subscribe thank you again and see you later